Praise the Lord good morning greetings in the mighty name of Jesus it is a great joy and privilege once again to be alive on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God I trust the Lord beloved and friends uh, that everyone is in good health and happiness uh, regardless of a situation or world as I always say uh, Jesus says lo I am with you always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world it's not awesome it's not great it's not mighty that we have an assurance my friends and beloved that God promised uh, to be with us in even unto the end of this world. He says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by that plague. This morning, every spirit of witchcraft, opia, demonic forces, evil, I destroy under the precious blood. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious, and the blood of Jesus is so powerful, the blood of Jesus is so repellent that destroys every yoke, and every bondage, and every fetter, and every evil, and every work of darkness. Right now, this morning, welcome, hallelujah. Those of you watching from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your photo, right here this morning, God bless you richly. There is a tremendous, awesome blessing for you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God, thank you Jesus. And those of you watching this morning, from where you're watching from this morning, if you're sick physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, find wherever, but if you're sick this morning, if the doctors have given you up, I'm going to tell you that you will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose, calling and destiny. Hallelujah, it's not awesome. Hallelujah. My friends, if you have if you have cancer, if you have AIDS, if you have COVID, if you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a blood issue this morning, a dialysis problem, my friends, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, if you're deaf, you're dumb, you're blind, you're lame, my friends, this morning, I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is still in the healing business. Hallelujah. He is the healer of our body and our soul this morning. My friends, he says healing is a children bread. And the first covenant he made with man was a covenant of healing. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes, we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, it's not awesome. My friends, those of you who are suffering this morning cannot sleep in the night uh, your demon possessed my friends uh, i'm here to tell you every demon will leave you in the name of jesus uh, because there is power in the name of jesus uh, there is deliverance in the name of jesus uh, my friends uh, if you have a financial difficulty my friends uh, you're suffering with a financial problem you're in a financial bondage uh, i break that generational course right now i break every generational course uh, every blights against your family every blights against your marriage every blights against your children Every blights against your job. I destroy under the precious blood. Every generational curse is broken right now in Jesus' name. I release the financial blessing upon your life. I release the blessing upon your marriage. I release the blessing upon your children. I release success upon your business. I release your financial blessing in the name of Jesus. You will prosper in everything you do. I release the financial blessing upon the job. There is an increase of salary awaiting you. There is a promotion awaiting you. God will bless you on the job. God will promote you. You on the job in the name of Jesus receive your miracle from the hands of God receive your blessing in Jesus name hallelujah my friends I feel a tremendous sir. Every morning there is a different uh, anointing of the Holy Spirit. Uh, every day there is a different anointing. There is not the same anointing. And I do not know, but I know someone is listening to me. The doctors have given you up. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, he says, go home and eat all you can. And give what you like. You only have but three to four weeks left to live. I'm here to tell you, you will not die, but you will live. You will live. You will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose, calling, and destiny. Because God has has not finished with you as yet the thief cometh but for to steal to kill and to destroy but Christ comes that you might have life and life is what is yours this morning in Jesus name are you ready for the anointing are you ready for the healing I'm going to send for this anointing into you wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus right now are you ready be healed in the name of Jesus be set free with the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities my friends give the Lord a big hand this morning. Hallelujah. 
many, many have been free from demonic forces of darkness. You will see some tonight. My friends, there's a release on your finances. There's a release in your business. There's a blessing upon your business. I see many have received healing from the hands of God. Hallelujah. God is awesome and great and mighty. But because of time, I cannot call out your sickness this morning, my friends. But to text me, write me, call me, let me know what God has done for you. He is miraculous. Hallelujah. My friends, 2,000 years ago when he walked upon the face of the earth, he told his disciples, when I go, the comforter will come, which is the Holy Spirit, and he will live in you and abide in you, and the works that I did, you shall do greater, greater works, greater works, Jesus says, what did Jesus did? He healed the sick, he raised the dead, he made the lame walk, and he performed the miraculous, and the same Holy Spirit is here with me right now, and the same Holy Spirit is there right now with you, wherever you are, in your living room, in your dining room, in your car, in your kitchen, in your office, on the street, in your phone, or right here, the same Holy Spirit, God, the Holy Spirit is here with you, and there with you, my friends, and he has done the miracle. Let's give a big hand to you. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for setting the captives free this morning. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. My friends, I had a dream from the Lord last night. As a prophet, from time to time, God gave me dreams and visions for his people. And what God is telling me, I was shocked when I told my wife, my friends, God is telling me, it's two times for the week, God was telling me something. And my friends, God is telling me he is delaying his coming. He is delaying the rapture because of his love for his people. Remember, we came from God. Our soul came from God. And God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. He sent his son to die for our sins because of his great love. He was always looking for a way to redeem us. And my friends, God has, God has a message for the world this morning. Not just for our country, but for the world. And let this message pass from people to people and from country to country. Because God has a message for his people. Hallelujah. My friends, God wants us to know that he loves us greatly. And he wants to save his people. He does not want us to go to hell. Because hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. But because of the wickedness of man. And because man refused. Refused to come in terms with God and accept his salvation. They will be going there. My friends, for the past many years, God has been speaking to man. How is God speaking to man? God is speaking to man through his prophets and God is speaking to man through signs and wonders and what he's doing. God is speaking to mankind through volcano, through thunderstorm, through thunderstorm, through, through my friends, through earthquakes, through hurricane and through fire. There's been so much fire in our, in our country, in so many countries in the past few years. Fire, endless fire, through brimstone and all manner of sicknesses and plagues. God had plagued the world. The world had been in China, but it's a plague. It's a plague from God. My friends, God has put plague, plague and sickness and pandemic upon people into this world and all sorts of storms. He has, he has flooded the streets. He has ripped your house apart. You turn around the flood, the hurricane, and yet uh, to make you wake up and say, Oh God, and come to Him. But yet uh, men are still not coming to God. God has plagued the whole world. The whole world has been plagued with this uh, pandemic, uh, with the COVID, uh, with this COVID 19, which is not finished. And now there is uh, a monkey box, they say, coming out uh, with sores in their hands uh, and sores all over the body and sores uh, with boils and inflammation, my friends, uh, and they call it monkey box. But God tell me it is not monkey box. Could, it could be monkey box, but it's something else God is bringing. God says he's going to give mankind a last chance before the return, before he comes in the cloud, in the rapture. And he says he's going to plague mankind one more time. And if they do not repent, they will go straight to the pits of hell. Because he says that the Antichrist will take over the world very soon. And if you receive the mark of the Antichrist, you will be cut off completely to God, completely from God. And you will go with the devil and his angels into the pits of hell. 
my friends but God does not want what that is why he's speaking through his prophets and he's speaking the word to the world in the olden days when God was speaking to man 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 was so afraid and he says God don't speak to us speak to us through Moses so God is speaking to mankind through his prophets and God says you're gonna play mankind one more time it's your last chance he says you're gonna bring something like leprosy now leprosy is something like sim similar to the monkeypox, but it will be something a little more different. It will be sores all over your skin with boils, under your feet, in your hands, on your lip, your face, your mouth, and even I want to tell you, I don't want to spread it out, but even your private parts will be plagued with that, with, with my friends, with that, hallelujah. Hallelujah, my friends, if your private parts will be plagued with that leprosy that God is bringing, because you know why? He says, mankind is too wicked. Mankind is too wicked. He says, repent and turn from your wicked ways and turn from your sins, and I will heal your land and deliver you, and you will make it with God. Repent, 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 repent. Hallelujah. It's a word from God. God is angry right now, my friends, but He is a loving God. He is a merciful God. He is a peace. God and he's patient, he's patient with mankind. I do not know what is happening, but he says he gonna plague the world with something like a leprosy, and mankind will get it in the even in the private parts for four to six weeks. And during that period of time, I you will die on your liver. But during that period of time, you have a chance to repent. But if you do recover, my friends, God loves us, and our soul is important. This body of flesh, blood, and bone is nothing. Our soul will live on for all eternity. Eternity is forever and ever. Hallelujah, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. And that's what the word from God this morning to his people. Yesterday I preached on the end time prophecy. Hallelujah. What will happen in the end times part one. And this morning I'd like to continue. I'd like to continue with part two. Part 2 this morning, my friends, and here in Matthew chapter 24, verse 31, that the whole world will see this. In Matthew 24, verse 31, the whole world will see this, my friends and beloved. The whole world, as Jesus Christ manifests himself, my friends, and in, as the scripture that we read, my friends, in Revelation chapter 19. Hallelujah. What God says, he is going to descend. He is going to descend. It says on a white horse now. Now, to appreciate this, my friends, you have to understand this morning, my friends and beloved, that they didn't, they didn't, that wasn't just something made up when a Roman general went out, my friends, to defeat, to defeat a nation in biblical times my friends and beloved hallelujah the, he, he will always ride a white horse he will always ride a white horse the reason he rode a white horse my friends is that the horse the horse of victory so whenever you see a Roman general coming back from a victory he is on a white horse he is on a white horse to symbol to symbol my friends the battle is over the battle is over the battle has been won the victory has been held the victory has been held so when you see it you, you see Jesus is coming back on a white horse it says he's coming back he's coming back victorious my friends he's coming back victorious he's coming to he's coming to victory why because he now he has now gotten the whole world over on the same page on the same page it says he's going to call all of Israel all of Israel back to Jerusalem back to Jerusalem in the midst of that he will descend from heaven he will descend from heaven with eyes verse chapter 19 says verse 12 a flame of fire a flame of fire my friends and hallelujah in his eyes not now now let me explain this this morning let me explain this this morning this is not Jesus meek and mild as we all, the psalm says, I didn't know him. As Jesus, meek and mild, this is not, uh, this is not sweet little Jesus as a baby boy. Are you getting me this morning? No, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikadama Santa Rabayande. You have two ways and you can relate to Jesus. You can relate to him on the cross. Where he, where he was a savior, my friends, or you can relate to him on the throne. 
Hallelujah. You can relate to him on the cross or you can relate to him on the throne that we drink so water. My truth is getting dry. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You can relate him. Relate to him on the cross. On the cross, my friends, or when he comes, when he comes on the throne where he, he is a judge. He will be the judge of the world. He will be the judge of the world, my friends and beloved. Every parent or most parents have two sides of them. And we all know the Gucci Gucci sides go outside. Go side. I am and wear you out outside. All right, we know the two sides, my friends. Sometimes we already see, my friends, we see sometimes they refuse to repent. They refuse to repent. They occur, my friend, God, God in the book of Revelation. People refuse to repent. So that's the point. Jesus is now coming back. To, as judge, he's coming back as judge to judge, my friends, the world. He's coming back as a judge to judge the world and the rejection of him. Hallelujah. As the son of God, of the, as a son of the living God. And when he comes, I say that when he comes, rode in the deep, in, rode, rode deep in the blood. Verse 13 says, his name is called the word of God. His name is called the word of God. And the armies that are with him, the armies are not with him, my my friends and now that's where you and I come in that's where you and I come in that's where you and I come in this morning you got a, a white horse my friends you've got a white horse hallelujah okay praise the Lord thank you Jesus the armies that are with him remember my friends we go with him in the rapture we go with him in the rapture and then we go through the judgment seat of Christ where we are giving rewards. We will be giving rewards in heaven. We did get ready for the marriage step of the marriage supper of the Lamb. The next week, my friends, next week, tomorrow, in fact, in fact, will be the big event. When we come with him back, tomorrow I will preach on the millennium. My friends, the rapture, we go with him at the second coming. We come back with him. We will come back with him. Okay. We come back to him after the, the rapture we caught up uh, my friends the second coming he comes down he does not come down the earth at the rapture he comes down to the earth at the second coming at the second coming the armies that are with him those who are dressed my friends dressed with with with, the, with my friends the linen the linen of uh, of our redemption praise god come with him verse 4 3, 3, 3 14 says on white horses and in his mouth in his mouth a sharp sword a sharp so that he might strike my friends strike down the, the, the nations he will strike down the nations so that that this where we go is going to happen the whole the, the world has coverage on the antichrist the antichrist had victory over many of those nations and the east comes because of what they have seen him with, with the king of the north and the king of the south in the middle of all the, of, of this armageddon confusion jesus christ is coming coming back leaves heaven with the saints he will leave heaven with the saints he comes down my friends to this altar and he makes his presence seen he makes his presence seen by the whole world by the whole world and according to Zechariah chapter chapter 14 my friends and beloved in verse 3 and 4 he lands on the Mount of Olives which is where he left my friends and this is what the Bible says he's coming back to the same place he left my friends he says when his feet hit the ground the earth will split, the earth will split, the earth will split. They say there will be an earthquake when Jesus' feet hit the ground. Hallelujah. That will go all the way down to the Dead Sea. Where his feet hit the ground, my friends, the Mount of Olives in Zechariah chapter 14 says it will speak with his mouth. Hallelujah. One of the things he will say, my friends, is this. You remember Alfred Hickok, the birds. My friends, did you remember that? My friends, it, it, it says he will summon all the birds. He will summon all the birds to come and get ready for supper. Hallelujah. <coughs> Because it is, it's middle time, because it's middle times, and through his spoken word, my friends, out of his mouth. 
out of his mouth my friends the bible says he will speak the word he will speak the word he will slay the nations he will slay the nations so this is not a, to, to be a long battle this part is really short hallelujah those other things will last a number of years in the second half of the tribulation my friends but in this one jesus christ will speak the word he will speak the word he will he will summon he will summon my friends in the most dramatic dramatic act of warfare in human history in human history he will bring about my friends the slaughter of those of those who reject him of those who reject him that's the end of the seven year period in the battle of armageddon the bible says when jesus christ does this when jesus christ does this in zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 says Israel my friends will look at him Israel will look at him on whom they have peace on whom they have peace my friends hallelujah and they will repent they will repent and receive Jesus Christ as Messiah or as Romans chapter 11 verse 26 tells us this morning says and then all of Israel all of Israel shall be saved they will receive Jesus Christ as their Messiah give a lot of big hand then, then they receive him as the Messiah. The Old Testament tells us the promise will be fulfilled. The promise will be fulfilled because Israel has to accept him. Hallelujah. Before they can be fulfilled, before they can fulfill, God allows these events to occur, my friends, to drive Israel to accepting him. And then the Bible says, my friends, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will set up his millennium, millennium kingdom, millennium kingdom in our decision. This, this, this next discussion tomorrow morning hallelujah i will speak on that the, be, the best verse 20 was the beast was seized in verse 20 which is the antichrist and he with the false prophet who performed the signs in the press in the presence of him who deceived the folks with the mark of the beast Hallelujah. And they were thrown alive into the lake of fire, which burns, my friends, with brimstone, which born with brimstone and fire. Hallelujah. So Jesus will defeat men. Hallelujah. He will get the Antichrist, my friends. He will get the false prophet. Hallelujah. They cast them into the lake of fire. And as you will see tomorrow, my friends, he got a special program for this devil. Hallelujah. Tomorrow I will speak on the millennium. My friends, hallelujah. And you and I, my friends, hallelujah, are with him. Are with him. That's Jesus. All those who come to Jesus Christ for salvation are with are with my friends. Him are with him. Is not awesome, is not great and mighty. Hallelujah. Let's give him a big hand. So what we are to do with all this, what do we do, what do we do with all this? So my friends, I'm here to tell you much this morning, hallelujah, praise God, my friends and beloved, when Jesus come back, when Jesus comes back, he will come back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, it says. Today we got kings for everything, a local king for everything, we've got a lion king, you know Lion King, we all see Lion King, right? Hallelujah. We have Lion King, you got the King of Soul, the King of Popper, the King of Swings, the King of the Beasts. It's so many. You've got the, the King of Rock and Roll. You have so much local kings. But when Jesus comes back, when Jesus comes back, my friend, it says with many diadems, diadems. Well, that's a whole bunch of crowns. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Give him a he, he will rule. He will rule with a rod of iron. He will rule with a rod of iron. You will see a perfect dictatorship. Hallelujah. This will not be ordinary. He will be a perfect dictatorship. The world will be under a dictatorship, but he will be a righteous dictator. That, why, that is why he is called faithful and true. And Jesus Christ will set up his millennium kingdom. We'll go into details on the next on tomorrow, my friends. And he will rule the world from Jerusalem. The the whole world the whole world he will rule from jerusalem and based on the rewards you get my friends 
based on your life now, based on your life now, will determine how you will, will position then, how you will position then, if you were a faithful follower, if you were a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you will be highly positioned, you will highly be, be highly positioned, my friends, if you were an, an unfaithful follower of Jesus Christ, my friends, you will be a street sweeper. You will be a street sweeper and now you'll be singing while you sweep. Don't get me wrong. You'll be sweep singing while you sweep. Hallelujah. You know because you know you know you've been saved. You'll be, you'll be going to be happy. You'll be going to be a happy street sweeper. But you will be assigned, assigned a role based on your faithfulness. Are you faithful? You will get a reward. Now on your commitment to Jesus Christ. Now on and now on your public confession of him. Now that will determine, my friends, that will determine the role, the role you have, the role you have. So that's why even though, even though, my friends, this this Armageddon stuff does not directly apply to you. It directly applies, it directly applies, my friends, it directly applies to, to other people, my friends, if you're a preacher and you're running a large church and you have a worship team that worship God and praise God and bring down the glory of God and when you come to preach, you, you, you use a few scattered words based on head knowledge and you close the service. You will be a, sweep, a, a street sweeper when, when, you, when, you, when Jesus comes. You might be the biggest bishop, but if you don't preach the word of God and feed the people when after the worship is finished and you bring a few scattered word and you, you, you preach anything you want and just say a couple words, you will be a sweet and a straight sweeper in the middle in the middle, in the middle of your brain. Because you have not given the people the word. You have not given the people the mark of the word. You just speak a little of your head knowledge based on your Bible school experiences and so on. And the knowledge you gain, you, you read the scriptures and then you fling a few words. You shine over there, you shine over there, you shine over there. And when other people you get anything, you will be a, sweet, a straight sweeper. My friends, although you might be a bishop or you might be the biggest reverend in mean, the biggest church, my friends, if you do not preach the word and do what God wants you to do, God will judge you for that. You will be saved, yes, but there will be no reward for you. Hallelujah. You know, my friends, how it affects your, it affects your rule. Then, my friends, when Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ returns, when Jesus Christ returns, my friends, hallelujah, what the Bible says, it also, as it mentioned a moment ago, a moment ago, my friends, hallelujah. Praise God, Shikanama Santo da Babayande, or to give you a different perspective this morning on the devil, on the devil, my friends. What? Because you need to understand as a devil, as he as he as he is, he is limited. The devil is limited, my friends. Now he can do to you all he wants to do, my friends. He can do all he wants to you now because of what of what the second Thessalonians call the restrainer. They restrain my friends, hold him back. The Holy Spirit limits him when he what he can do. Hallelujah. That's why the scripture says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Give the Lord a big hand. Because Satan right now is on a leash. Hallelujah. And when you have a dog on a leash, it can go, it can go nowhere. But only as far as a leash allows. Are you hearing me this morning, my friends and beloved? So in, in the tribulation, when the leash is extended. He will be able to do more, my friends. But right now, right now, my friends, what he can do to you is is is, is lie. What he can do to you now is lie. Trick you. The devil can trick you in your thinking, trick you in your emotions. He can trick you, my friends, to make you think, make you think he's bigger and better. Hallelujah. But he really is, he really is, he is he's so good at it. You have never met anybody. The, 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 that's a, a born liar. Have you ever met someone that's a born liar? That means they're really good at it because they've been doing it since they were a child. He is a born liar. The devil is a born liar because he's a father of lies. The scripture says, my friends, 
He can make you believe. He can make you believe, my friends. You don't have victory. You can't have victory. You don't have victory. Or you are defeated. You know, my friends, he can do all that. He will really do it. But then he can do it. And when God wants you to do, understand is that the devil at his best. It is devil while the devil is trying to mass over you. God is doing something else, my friends. Hallelujah. He's constructing something else. He is constructing something else. Hallelujah. Praise God. Paul says it is it Paul says in this in this way he, he says we look through a glass darkly. We don't, we don't, we don't know, see things clearly. We don't see things clearly. I got a watcher. You have to a watcher, my friends. You got a watch here, my friends. Look at the face of this watcher, uh, so I can see and, and tell the time. Because uh, look, I look at the face. But if you ask me, give me the details of how the parts work. I do not know the parts of this watcher. I can't. I can't explain the part of this watcher. I, I, all I know, it's it is what time now? What time now is nine something? Hallelujah! My nine twenty. I can tell you, my friends, that much. But there are a whole lot of details here, my friends, and I can explain those little. TV parts, but how they, they really did, my friends. I can see it's now it's 10 o'clock, my friends, and I can explain. I tell you what time it is. What time it is. Hallelujah. The whole lot of lot, the whole lot of details. I only touch the surface. I can do is give you a summary this morning. There is so much detail on the thing, my friends, and through all the different prophets and different predictions and all that I've done, my friends. I've done it to show you, show you the time, just to show you the time. Okay, I just did it to show you the time. Okay, because it's all I can see. Even rather, you study the book of Daniel, you study the book of Revelation. I've done to show you the time God he has the parts God has the parts the details and how they all in intersect and relate to one another and how they all and how they all all all, all they all connected all connected this morning hallelujah but you know my friends something and beloved you really don't need to know it all how it works you don't know even know to all how it works you need to know what time it is all you need to know what time it is let's give a lot of big hand hallelujah hallelujah it's getting later it's getting later it's getting darker it's getting later it's getting dark so what i'm trying to tell you is what time it is what time it is, it's getting later, all the details, and my friends, all of it, this in this country, my friends in Syria and Lebanon and Portia and all of the, this discussion, they discuss in Ezekiel chapter 13, victory chapter, my friends, we sing the war with Ukraine and Russia, 229, 38, 39, and Gog and Magog, and it talks about Iran and what we see and all that's in there, and my friends, and I, I can't get, a, we can get a headache if we try to see what's going on i sometimes you get depressed sitting preparing the stuff hallelujah but my friends i'm here to tell you my friends sometimes we get depressed preparing the stuff but what god wants his people to see i'm saying that you know something hallelujah we need to preach the word of god it's just too much it's just too much and we have to preach the stuff it might be too much but we must preach the stuff and what i can tell you what time it is my friends what time it is now in case you don't know my friends what time it is and getting is getting late it's getting later and i'll see you next word it's at the end time it's getting later the time is drawing to close that much i can tell you this morning god is calling you are you safe are you healed are you delivered are you ready my friends tomorrow i'll fall back unless logical speaking and jumping forward because tomorrow it's it's getting later it's getting later it's getting later time is running out time is running out hallelujah i have eight dogs at the sides and have to feed them this morning they're beaving bad i feed them before i start preaching through that my friends we see russia russia down broke down my friends this decreed my friends we see russia and ukraine at war these things are prophetic in the book of ezekiel chapter 38 we see all these things overnight and what's happening in our world the stage is set for the antichrist 
Hallelujah. We see what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. The war with Russia and Ukraine. We see what is happening in the world. We see what's happening in the Middle East with Iran, my friends, and now emerge, emerge as a dominant influence. Over, we will have taught my friends that over Niger, what America is giving them more power will arise in the midst of what we will have taught of all this will occur my friends the reason why you must take prophecy seriously seriously my friends is God has already seen the future and has come back to notify us about it my friends and beloved hallelujah we need to understand it says, and it says, Israel, Israel will look at him on whom they peace. Hallelujah. They will look at him on whom they peace. And they will sit, and they, and they, they said, crucify him, crucify him. Hallelujah. Remember the Jews say to crucify him, crucify him. Hallelujah. They crucify him on the cross. And you and I will, will be with him. Everyone who comes into faith in Christ, we will be with him. Him, my friends, we will be with him. Give him a hand. This time. Hallelujah. We will be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You will never make a mistake, my friends. You will never, never mistake him, my friends. You will never mistake him. He will stand out in the crowd. Hallelujah. He will stand out in the crowd. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. Because Jesus Christ, my friends and beloved, will be the only, the only only, only scarred person, the only scarred person. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm going to tell you just now. He will be the only scarred person. You will have a perfect new, new glorified body. I don't want you to miss this. You will have a new glorified body and you will be the same race that you are. You will be the same gender that you are. Listen to me. Same gender. You will be simply, simply be perfect. You will be perfect humanity. Perfect humanity. But listen to this now. At your most perfect age. What is the perfect age? I'm going to tell you, which I take to be totally I did not make it up, my friends. I give you, I tell you how I tell the story. I didn't make that up. I got that from, from, from my friends. The life age of Jesus, the perfect age of Jesus was story. Adam and Eve, remember, Adam and Eve was created adults, they weren't created as kids. So you will be your perfect self. You will be around 33 years in your prime beauty. And there will be a scar, a scarred one. The scarred one will be Jesus with a scar in his hands and his side. My friends, they we will look on him who oh, the peace. Hallelujah. When Jesus arose from the dead, my friends and beloved, Thomas said, unless I see. Unless I see the nail prints in his hand, unless I see the nail prints in his hand and the scar on his side, and the scar on his side, I will not believe. I will not believe. Jesus came to Thomas after he rose from the dead, hallelujah, and said, See these nails, see these nails, see this scar, see this scar, Thomas, touch them, touch them, touch them, Thomas. And then, then so you never confess you, you were you, your savior. And because from the time you meet him at the rapture, from the time you meet him at the rapture, all the way through the millennium into eternity, my friends, those who will be eternal reminders that you save by these scars, you save by these scars, and you deliver by the scars of Jesus. You you have been delivered by these scars, the nail prints in his hands, the nail prints in his hands, the scar on his side, and the nail prints on his feet, my friends. So so that when I meet you at the corner of the, my friends of the street, we will be giving praise. We will be giving praise as a savior, as a savior who loves us, as a savior who loves us, gave his life for us, save us, my friends, rapture us, redeem us, return with us, hallelujah, and we give us eternal life with him hallelujah and that makes him my friends worthy that makes him worthy to be of praise let's stand our feet and give him a big <laughs> Praise God, thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. My friends, as you bow your heads and close your eyes this morning, one, we are going to close in a moment. In a moment, I'm going to close. But you need to come to, you need to come to the Savior this morning. You need to come to the Savior. I mean, come to church. Let me be religious. I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about giving your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is the center of God's story, my friends, this morning. Hallelujah. And you want to meet him a savior, not judge. It's not so. You want to meet him a savior, not judge. You will slip out of your seat this morning and just stand right where you are. Stand in your living room, in your dining room and make this decision to enter, come to Christ, to get right with him. Wherever you are right now, my friends, you can come to him. Hallelujah. With Christ this morning on his terms. Anybody need to make that? You may need to make that, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. You need to make that decision this morning. Hallelujah. Shika nama santo da baba yanda raba shika da bende. U nama mama yanda raba baba santo da baba yanda raba shika da bende. You need to make that decision this morning. You need to make that decision. She la baba santo da baba yanda raba shika da bende. My friends and beloved, you need to make a decision. You need to accept him as your Lord and Savior this morning. Hallelujah. Are you ready for that decision this morning? Shu nama mama santo da baba yanda raba shika he loves you, he said in his words, he is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He came into this world not to condemn this world, but the world through him might be saved, my friends. God loves us this morning and he wants to save our soul. Are you saved? Are you saved? So, my friends, this morning. If you're not seen this morning, so, my friends, if you're not saved, hallelujah, are you saved this morning? Have you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Though you know him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, is he, is he your Redeemer? I, I, do you have an assurance that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life this morning? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. My friends and beloved, we need to come to him. He says, come now and let us reason together, save the Lord. So that he says, come now, let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, it shall be white as snow. Though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool this morning. My friends, he wants you to come to him. Are you ready to give your life to him this morning? Are you ready to give your life to him this morning? Are you ready to surrender? Are you ready to make that decision to him this morning? Hallelujah. He loves you. And he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have eternal life, everlasting life. Are you ready for that everlasting life? Hallelujah. Are you doing it? Are you ready, my friends? Are you prepared for that this morning? He loves you and he wants you to be prepared for what he has to offer. He has to offer eternal life, everlasting life to you and to me. Hallelujah. Let's pray this morning. I thank you, Lord, this morning for your love, your grace, your mercy, and your great concern. I thank you for the breath of life. And so, so, my friends, what he's saying this morning. My friends, he says he's not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. And all you have to do, he says, Lord Jesus, wash me and cleanse me and purify me, body, soul, and spirit, from all sins, consciously and unconsciously, every sins of the heart, every sins of the mind, every sins of the body, every sins of the soul, every sins of the spirit, every sins of the mental faculties, every sins of the thought process, every unforgiveness. Lord, I know I am a born sinner. Wash me, I know, Lord Jesus, you died for my sins on the cross of Calvary. You shed your blood. You died in my place so that I might have life and life more abundantly and Lord I accept you as my Lord and Savior 
I repent of my sin. Lord, come into my life. Sweet Holy Spirit, give me strength to live a pure and holy and righteous life in a sinful world. And Jesus Christ, my friends, will give you the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit will come with you. And Jesus Christ will forgive you and wash out and blot out your transgressions and your iniquity. Are you ready this morning? Did you see that this morning? My friends, God wants to save you. All you have to repent of your sins and say, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Praise God, my friends. It has been a joy and great privilege. Remember what I said this morning, what I prophesied this morning, what is coming. It's your last chance. Probably if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God will save you from that plea. That plea and that pandemic that is coming. Which I seize, what is the word again? I seize, hallelujah. My friends, uh, you know what is coming. Leprosy. Leprosy is coming. My friends, uh, if you want to escape from the leprosy that God will be plaguing mankind with, repent and be saved today in the name of Jesus. My friends, it has been a joy and a great privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. God loves you richly. I love you in the love of God. Have a wonderful day. I see you tomorrow in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. Praise God.